Okay, I love watching those problem player videos. You know the ones, the um, nine problem players at your table and how to deal with them. Uh, ten types of problem players. Um, here are some problem players. And we know the archetypes. We know uh, the rules lawyer, the uh, uh, spotlight hog, um, the murder hobo, the that guy, um, the bard. Just the bard. Um, but... There's one problem player archetype I don't hear about, and I've seen this on multiple tables personally, and I have seen this at my own table, and I have seen this at other people's tables, and no one ever talks about them. And the problem player I'm personally dubbing is the troubleshooter. So. The troubleshooter is a player at the table who has basically gotten obsessed with um, RPG horror stories and negative archetypes. And they are looking, they are looking all the time for any of the um, toxic traits of a role playing group. So they're looking for their, um, that guy, they're looking for their. Uh, murder hobo they're looking for their rules lawyer and we all as players and as games masters have those traits within us i've been a murder hobo before i've been a rules lawyer before the difference is is how much you do it so querying a rule that's not being a rules lawyer getting your own book and querying a rule it's a little bit rules lawyery but, derail, but if it doesn't derail the story, and it doesn't mess with the group, it's not being a rules lawyer. In that sense, you could call any spellcaster class that goes out and buys a player's handbook so they can look up the spells a rules lawyer. They're not. They're just playing the game. And they just want to make sure they understand what is going on. And they want to check on a few things. That's all. And that's okay. Murder hobos. We've all had sessions where, you know what, this isn't working, stab the guard. Charisma hasn't worked, bribery hasn't worked, um, threatening hasn't worked, fuck it, just stab him in the neck. We've all had sessions like that. Sometimes the final resort is violence, and we have hit the final resort. The troubleshooter sees those little things, those little tiny um, moments... Of a problem player in a normal player and blows it out of proportion the second someone picks up a handbook don't be a rules lawyer um the second someone goes i stab don't be a murder hobo every single time and in some ways that's even worse because they are dictating to that person how to enjoy a game and that's why i think they should be talked about a bit as well i've not seen any troubleshooters a lot I have seen them occasionally, especially at conventions um, and at like college groups, where they will um, basically they'll almost turn themselves into the party police, and that is not their job. Either playing paladin, it is not their job to dictate how someone else enjoys the game or how someone else plays their character, because that's what it is as well. It's taking away a player's choice to act a certain way in the game. If they didn't want to act a certain way in the game, they would go and play a video game or read a book. We are here to play a role-playing game, so we are going to be very flexible in our choices and have a lot more options than any video game can program for. So, watch out for troubleshooters as well. I think they're actually getting more numerous because of how prevalent channels like Crit Crab and RPG Horror Stories are getting. So I'm personally just going to keep an eye out for it personally. None of my party at the moment have shown signs of troubleshooting. Um, and we do have some problem player traits. I mean, like I said, everyone does. Um, Narlock can be a bit of a... Uh, Kleptomaniac thief, that's normal. Uh, Zed can be a little bit of a rules lawyer, that's normal. Um, Celadine can be a little bit of a um, spotlight, that's normal. And Roboto can be a little bit of a murder hobo, 
That's normal. All of those traits are normal. When I say that, I mean in a very minute amount. And that's just how they enjoy the games. I know for a fact that when I am a player, I can be a bit of a uh, bit of an attention um, a spotlight hog, and I can also be a little bit of a rules lawyer. But I can also be a little bit of a murder hobo. I think that's sort of the problem with being a games master and coming into the game. You want to do to your players what they do to you. So usually your games master will be one of your players. Um, I know for a fact that I have pissed off Nick more times than I can count in as a player character. I mean, there's the time I betrayed the entire party um, to become a lich um, when I was playing my necromancer. And then there was the time that um, I overloaded the already overloaded barbarian fighter who was being played by my wife so that rather than doing 112 damage she did 180 damage to a harpy um and i also know that um in the last session of dragon age i sort of derailed the entire plan by basically taking control of the situation i was a bit of a control freak having those traits is normal for players and for games masters and we shouldn't be policing those traits, but it's when someone takes those small traits and makes it seem like it's one of the big ones. To be honest, it makes me think they've actually never seen a true rules lawyer or a true murder hobo. They're just going with the stories and they think these small traits turn into the big ones. No, these small traits let off enough steam that they don't turn, off, turn into the big ones. A two minute check on a rule means that you're not spending half an hour arguing about a rule. A um, moment of stabbing someone in the gut stops you from murdering an entire village. That's basically it. It's let people have fun, and I find that troubleshooters are getting more numerous. So let's keep an eye out for them, guys. See ya!